Hi everyone! Finally we are back with a new video. It's been a very long time, but we're super happy to be back. We're gonna be getting ready today. Getting ready and giving you a little update of what's been happening. Yes, we have a lot to talk about today. A lot, so let's do it! Okay, let's start. We haven't done this in a while, so... Oh my gosh, how good is it to be back? So, we already took two hours to try and set up this whole thing. It took us two hours to start this video because our camera stopped working. Our camera so wasn't working. We're a little bit shaking. Yeah. <laughs> I was giving up slowly. Oh, I was really giving up, but we said no, we have to wait. Repair yeah, I can't the camera. believe it's already two o'clock. I came it's here at 11. It's two o'clock and we just started filming now. Um, but yeah, finally the camera worked. Oh, I didn't use this for a while, quite like it. So I'm using this one, I really love this. It makes you really smooth. I need another one because I'm a bit dry. I put fake tone on my face yesterday. Mm. Well, so the first update is a very obvious update. I don't think it's obvious. I told you to talk about this at the end. No, I've got Invisalign in my mouth. <laughs> I got Invisalign finally a week ago, exactly one week ago and I got it on my top and bottom so maybe you can see it it looks like this the bottom obviously my bottom teeth are very crooked so that's why I'm doing it yeah my top teeth are obviously kind of straight but like I want to make them perfect so they're narrow so she's trying to make the teeth I'm trying the to make wider. them the smile a bit more even I don't know so I got it last week it's been quite painful but well at least you did it at least I did happy. it I'm excited for the final results. Yeah. So it if you be. did Invisalign or if you're doing it at the moment, let me know in the comments so we can be Invisaligning together. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Um, anyway, then I'm gonna be professional and I'm gonna use this pa uh, plate from Anastasia and put my foundation here and mix it. Because I always do it on my hand, you know. That's what you do. Squirt, squirt. Yeah, and that's how you get squirty on, all over the carpet on, on your clothes. Yeah, actually that happened once. Actually one time I did it like this and it squirted all over the wall. <laughs> it wasn't fun. Um, so, have you been having pain? Tell us about okay, it. Okay, so I'll t I guess we can talk about this Invisalign first. So the first few days, oh my god, I couldn't bite anything. Even now, like when I'm biting like, like this, it's really uncomfortable. Um, but obviously because the teeth are moving, it's... Obviously gonna do that. Mm, but other than that, it's good. Everything is good. It's just the fact that you have to take it out every time you eat. Yeah, that's a pain in the ass. Oh, and you know how much we like food and snacking and drinking red wine. Like, how am I supposed to sit down and enjoy red wine for like three hours when you have to wear this thing for 22 hours a day? Tell me. Because yeah, I, you can. Because I, I mean, don't. unless you're just cheating, <laughs> cheating, and not wearing it for twenty-two hours. But you have to wear it if you want this to be like working. True. I decided that I'm gonna be wearing this twenty-two hours a day, no doubt, like every day, because yeah. I want this to be quick. I don't want this to be in my mouth for a year, you know. But it has to be at least for six months. They like they said that it could could take about six to nine months. But like it obviously depends if you wear it, it depends how fast your teeth move. I know my teeth move really quick because I've had braces before. Oh, actually, if we're talking about this, might as well tell you. If you ever have braces, wear your retainer because your teeth will move. Oh yeah, they move with at time. night. And this is why I'm obviously doing the Invisalign on my top teeth because my teeth moved. I had braces before, about six years ago. Six? Yeah, I was six, seven maybe, uh, and I stopped wearing my retainer at night for f like four years, and they moved. Yeah, so. that's the problem, you always have to wear it. Your teeth will always move. Even though I have the fixed retainer, I mean not now, but I have the, I have the fixed retainer, but this doesn't help because it's only on your fourth front teeth. Um, mm. So yeah, that's my advice about the retainer. Wear the retainer. By the way, I'm using this new Anastasia Beverly Hills cream bronzer oh. in color amber. It's really good. I try. It's so good. I also have I golden have hair. Cool. All my Anastasia um, products went to my old address and I never got it. Really? Yeah. You can try it. 
Which color this one? This is called amber. This is darker. Mm. It's really nice and creamy. I love it. Like, ooh, it's, it's actually quite it's nice. It's really nice. I've nice, been using it um, every day since I got it. So yeah, this is a very nice product. I might put a bit too much weight. <laughs> Well, there is a story about my Invisalign. Oh yeah, we actually had, I actually had the call with the dentist yesterday, a Zoom call, and he was gonna explain to me about my case, and unfortunately my case is a little bit more difficult. Her case is actually too difficult and complicated, and because of that, she can't do it. I mean, I can, but it will take, it could take up to one to two years. Yeah, like- Because I have a gap between one of my teeth here, and it would have to move, and then I need to remove the tooth, and then I need to put implant. Oh, there's so much things yeah, going on. Yeah, it's a bit more complicated to her case. Too much stuff going on in this mouth. So I'm thinking <laughs> I'm gonna go the fast route again, and I'm gonna do a little bonding. And, cause the only problem I have is this one tooth that goes back. So if I kind of bond it on it, here, and like straighten this up at the top, but then it's gonna be thick. I don't <laughs> care, I already have fake veneers at the top, so. You know, just I to look a little bit more presentable, I could just do that. To be honest, yeah, you know? Yeah. Or I can do maybe lingual braces that go from the inside and only put on the six at the front that yeah. I need. That could work as well. But yeah, I just need to think what I'm gonna do, because I don't know. Well, you need to do something, I guess. Yeah, because I really want to have straight teeth at the bottom. Or straight looking teeth. Yeah, you know? So as you know from our last uh, video, I think you, you did like a little talk? Yeah, I did a little update. Laura did a little update. So my boyfriend got COVID about like a few weeks ago and he was sick for two weeks. It was really, really, really bad. Yeah. He got the bad one. He got the Delta variant, I think. What? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> the new bad variant. So he was sick for one week at home with a 40 like 40 degree temperature like he was really really sick then he went to hospital for a week he was in intensive care so i was really really stressed it was so bad that like that it was really bad <laughs> like it was really 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 bad because he's got asthma so. so he's got really bad asthma and it got him like the, the covid got him really bad because he hasn't been vaccinated yeah so. he didn't get a vaccine um so yeah, that, that, that was like obviously the reasons why we couldn't film anything. And when we found out that he's got COVID, I thought that I probably will get so it. So I didn't see Claudia so, from that very first day. So I couldn't see Laura for like almost like two weeks or something. I couldn't see her because I, I thought I'm gonna get the COVID, but I actually didn't. She actually Luckily. didn't. Luckily I didn't get it. That's crazy because you know, like we were home together all day and stuff. Yeah, I don't know how that worked um, out. So yeah, that was that. He went to hospital three times, we had to call ambulance three times. It was like a really, not a, not a nice time, Yeah, if I, if I say so. And it was literally like a couple of days before we were traveling. So I obviously didn't see Claudia because we didn't want to get COVID before going on, on a trip. Yeah, and then later she went to Mexico. Yeah. But the worst thing about it, when my boyfriend had COVID, we had one week to move out from our house. Yeah. So everything was happening at the same happening at, at the, the same, same time. time and to top things off i took my tooth out same time yeah same time i had to take one tooth out for the invisalign and i got a dry socket i don't know if you've heard about this but this is when your like my bone was exposed this was the worst pain i've ever had in my life when it comes to teeth mm -hmm. like i actually like i think i cried a few times from yeah. the pain yeah it was so painful, I was on 12 painkillers a day, or more even. You I can only take eight. I was popping pills like there's no tomorrow, they didn't even work. I was taking everything, I was taking even cocodamol. It was really, really bad. So I was in pain, my boyfriend was with 40 temperature fever, he yeah. couldn't breathe, he needed oxygen, like it was really... Yeah, she had to call ambulance three times and every time the ambulance came, like they took him to a hospital, then they put him back in the house. Yeah, after a few hours, ridiculous. they discharged him and they said, oh, you don't, you don't need um, to be here. You don't need to be here, like, you know, everyone needs uh, 
uh, I don't know, oxygen. We something. need beds or something. Like, it was just really... They treated him really badly. They treated him badly. And then the third time, it was... The, it got to the point that I was like, oh my gosh, you really need to be in the hospital. He can't breathe. You need oxygen. You, I don't know, you've got some infection probably in the His stomach. fever was for a whole week, 40 degrees. Is yeah. that how you say it? 40 degrees? Yeah. Or 40... 40 temperature. So yeah, he had fever for 40 and it was really, really bad. bad. And then when he went to the hospital, they obviously, they said that, yeah, he's got new pneumonia. How do you say that? Pneumonia? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Pneumonia and he got a blood clot. I think. Everything. Like literally, ev like just all the worst things that could happen. Worst things possible. But anyway, thankfully he's now much better. He, he was in hospital for a week, so he came back. He has a long uh, time to recover though. Yeah, he needs to recover because he gets out of breath very quick. He, yeah, at the first, when he came back, he couldn't even walk to the shop, right? Yeah, he couldn't even walk for more than five minutes. But now he's getting better. So, and that's that. And yeah, what else? But yeah, one advice I have is that if you have asthma or if any of your relatives have it's very important to get vaccine because yeah. this is no I joke mean, a lot of people have different opinions about the vaccine and after what i saw what happened to him it and was bad and actually this happened to our brother and this happened to our brother also this happened to our brother two months ago our brother also has asthma and he was in hospital for two weeks mm. same problem Exactly the same thing, blood cloth, he was on the was ventilator for like a good, like a week, he couldn't breathe, he couldn't eat, he could, like he had to sleep on the stomach, like it was really, uh, literally the same experience that my boyfriend mm. uh, experienced, and he was also in critical condition, so uh, like yeah, this is probably the best advice we can give you if, if you have asthma or something. I have asthma, so I was also scared, but obviously I got uh, vaccinated twice. But you, you got vaccine straight away when they told Oh yeah, said. I got my vaccine straight away. So yeah, um, it's no joke. Like, Scary. This COVID thing really, really scared me. Um, mm. But yeah. And then when he was in hospital, I moved to the house. So I had to pack everything, or the whole house She had myself. to do it everything on her own and because i couldn't come to help because no, nobody could co come and help me because it was like you know like nobody i don't want to give anybody covid or whatever so i was just doing everything myself in a week but then we moved to a new flat so now we're in a new flat now we're in a new flat as, as you can, can see. see um and i think this is the best news this is the best news that we have today so the best news is that me and laura now live in the same house well, not the same house. Oh, well. <laughs> in the same building. We live in the same we building. We live three floors, four floors apart. So yeah, this is like, I think the most exciting thing ever. Yeah, I mean, I know we kind of lived next to each other, but it was very difficult because we always had to pack bags with clothes, with makeup, with, I don't know, lighting. I had to take and like actually walk for a good like five minutes to her flat with everything. So now I just go inside the lift with my slippers and that's it. Yeah, now we literally like, it's so good. Like if I don't have milk in the morning, I just go to her and get some I, milk. Yeah, she, she brings me lunch. If I'm hungry, it. I go there. If like, it's really good. I forgot the card, so I went downstairs and got it. It was just, I guess now there's no excuses for the videos. Although we've been making excuses for like the past two months because- But we found a good excuses, you know? <laughs> I mean, uh, no, it's- We've had a really uh, difficult time. Yeah. For like the past two months, you know. We've had difficult Our time. brother was really sick, then my boyfriend was really sick. I was, I was, uh, I, was uh, I don't know, moving twice. I moved twice. Yeah. And I, you know, whatever happened in my life. Yeah. Ooh. It wasn't easy. This past few months wasn't really that easy, right? Yeah. Uh, but we are back. We're settling in. I settled in my apartment. Claudia's almost settled here. Yeah. Almost so, yeah. settled. So we're happy, happy to be back. Happy Although be back. I will say one thing, this weather in this country is not gonna help us any further. <laughs> <laughs> like it's depressing. It's so depressing that I like wanna cry sometimes. You know actually there has been a uh, heat wave. There has been a heat wave when I was away and now I'm back to the rain. Today yeah. is not a little bit sunny, but it says it's gonna rain every day. And mm. it says in August it's gonna be rainy and windy. Apparently, they're saying August is gonna be really cold in London. How sad. 
I think we should leave this country ASAP. <laughs> anyway, we are, I'm happy that we're healthy and alive and that's all that, ma that matters, you know? Yeah. Because we've had two crazy experiences these days recently and yeah. It makes you think that you just should enjoy the life a bit more. Because yeah, you never know. It. You never know when, you know, you leave us. <laughs> it's the truth. So you know, hopefully we're gonna be filming a lot more. We are aiming to film two videos a week. Me a minimum two videos. Minimum a week. two videos a week. If we have more, we'll film more. Well, I feel like we just need ideas. Like, can you give us ideas of what you want to see? Yeah. We're definitely gonna film apartment, new apartment tour. Oh yeah, maybe my new apartment tour because it's go, it's almost ready. Yeah. It's I'm just waiting ready. for like few chairs and that's it. So new apartment tour. I don't know if you want to see my apartment tour. They're kind of similar, but they have a different layout. So mm. maybe I could do as well. Yeah, it's actually, they're, they're almost the same. But yeah, it's very exciting. Very exciting. I'm actually very happy to be back. Yeah. You know, back to kind the... Kind of missed filming. Back to the routine. And yeah. So yeah, and then I went to Mexico for a week. Yeah, basically Laura went to Mexico when my boyfriend came from hospital. Yeah. That same day. And, um... So I was just looking after him and then she went to Mexico. I decided to film a video, which we posted the other day, the packing with Oh yeah, me. the packing video. Because I felt like at least I need to film something. Yeah. Because we haven't seen each other for so long. Yeah. Um, so how was Mexico? Talk, talk, tell us about Mexico, all right? Mexico was amazing. The weather was really good. Um, we were worried because the forecast said it would rain every day. Because yeah. it's obviously kind of a rain season, but it was 32 degrees every day, and I think it rained only like twice once in the evening and once a little bit in like a shower for like one hour, mm. and then the sun came out. So that was good. great. I burnt once, um, okay. and then I can I and, and then I couldn't sunbathe the next day, but I only burned like my back. Like when I tell you the sun in Mexico is strong. We, once we went to Mexico and we burned, so you didn't learn your lesson? I think I did, and I put 30 SPF oil. Mm. Which I thought, oh, this is 30 spin oil, and it actually burns. Oil me. can burn you. So you know what I did? I was using cream 30 and 50 SPF all over every day for the rest of the holiday. Which, it kind of looks like I'm pale, but I'm not. You can see my tan lines are quite... I mean, I don't think I would use cream. Uh, <laughs> I think you would. You wouldn't want to burn, Claudia. Really? The, if you put oil, you feel like you're frying. You feel like you're, you're like a chicken frying on the sun. Really? That's how hot it was. So that's why I was using cream, because cream was actually protecting me. So, yeah, that was that. What else? Um, I've fallen in love with mango margarita. Ooh, I haven't tried that before. Which I, if you would ask me if I like margarita, I absolutely hate Same. margarita. Like, I can't drink it. It's salty, it's oof, it's, it's salty. Like, there is so salt around the rim of the glass. There's nothing appealing to me. Like, I like sweet drinks. Um, I don't really like tequila drinks, but then so we were sitting on the beach and this one woman was like Oh, can I have mango margarita? And I was like, oh, what's that? And then I looked and it looked really interesting and it had the tahine or if you say tagine Some people say, I mean, we said say tagine. tagine. It's this Mexican spice that they put around the glass mm. And I looked at it and I thought, oh, maybe I'm gonna try this since once once I tried it, this is all I drank every single day. It was so good. I need to try then. It was so good that I bought three bottles of the tahine spice. Really? Mm. That's nice. Yeah. So now I can make it at home. Oh, how about we make it for the vlog? We still haven't done it. Oh yeah, it. let's do it. So I can try it for the first time. But then I don't know how to do it because I saw recipes and there's a lot of different recipes online. One does like, I don't know, kind of like a frozen one, but I like the one on the rocks. So mm. I don't know. Yeah, I like the one on the rocks as well. I have good. how good it is. Really? Yeah. I'm thirsty actually. Same. Well, the problem is with this invisible and I can't drink anything with it. I need to take it out. So how can I enjoy a drink? Can't. How can I enjoy a cocktail when I'm like on the beach? When you want to, I don't think you'll be on the beach anytime soon. Oh, cheers. 
And I've got this palette from NARS that's very pretty and I want to show it to you because I think I'm going to use it. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. It's so like bronzy and it's called. And what is it called? It's called Summer Solstice. What? Solstice. What? Summer Sol 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 Solstice. Sol no, it's Solstice. Soli Solis. Oh, I don't know. So yeah, the hotel I went to was all inclusive. So I was eating mm -hmm. for like three people. Like I was eating breakfast, yeah. lunch, dinner, so many drinks. We were waking up super early because of the English time. We were waking up at 5.30 in the morning. And by the evening, like by nine o'clock, we were dead. So yeah. it was actually good because we felt like we were on holiday for much longer because we had much longer days. Yeah, it's good to wake up early, I guess. But that means I was drinking from 9 o'clock in the morning. That wasn't very good. <laughs> no. Um, but it was really nice. I had a great time and I had great... I took so many pictures, which I'm trying to post now on my Instagram. Just you still need to post them, yeah. Yeah. It was nice to get away from this horrible weather. Although you actually... She went to Mexico the time that in London was like the biggest heat wave ever. It was 30 degrees. It was 31 degrees for a week. And I was sunbathing, okay? I was like, okay, let me get some time. So that's why Cloudy looks kind of similar to me. With to be honest, color. this lighting is really weird. We look very pale, but realistically we're not. We're very tanned. I've got so, that Mexican tan, you know? Yeah, Mexican tan. Oh, so when my boyfriend came out of hospital, his parents and his brother came to England literally one day after. So they were here for like almost two weeks. So I was busy with them, you know, spending quality time together um, and stuff like that. So yeah. now they're actually, they, they left like a few days ago. So that's why we're back to work. We're back to work and we're on it and we're excited. Back to work. So yeah. Oh, I also did my vaccine. So straight after this happened, I was like, okay, I had to, I think, wait like two weeks or something. And I was like, okay, I have, I have to do my vaccine, like, you know. I'm yeah, because you need to wait two weeks before uh, you can do it, right? Yeah, so I did my vaccine eight, nine days ago. I did the Moderna vaccine and I actually think I'm all, like allergic to it. Yeah, because her arm is like... So yes, I don't know if you can see it, probably you can't, but yes, You can't see it, but it's like a red... I had this red patch in here and it was really warm and... I felt a bit like weird, like a bit of nauseous, a bit of like headache. And I feel now the same. And I was reading about it, it says it's like an allergic reaction to it. What is it called? What? COVID arm? Yeah, it's called COVID arm. I, don't know. I love how they have names for all these new things. But I don't know, to be honest, what to think about it. I have no words. <laughs> Maybe you need to call the doctor. No, it says that it's supposed to go away after like, I think two days or something. So. In two days, I'll be fine. Oh, but then you can't do this uh, vaccine anymore. What? Yeah. Oh. You can't do... If you have allergic reaction to the <clears throat> to the Moderna, you can't do this one or Pfizer. Oh, more. So what am I gonna do then? Not sure. They said you can't have the Astra Astra AstraZeneca because... AstraZeneca. AstraZeneca because uh, we're too young for it. This but I did. The woman said, oh, I wouldn't give you this one because of your age. But I had this, so well, well I don't know. Oh, well, today I'm gonna do a crazy makeup. Really? <laughs> I realized. Are you Although feeling I don't know, that crazy? I don't know if I'm feeling this adventurous, but I have this palette from uh, Colourpop. They sent me all these cute palettes. They kind of look like... Oh, yeah, I got these as well. I really like this one. I like this one, and this one looks like this. Let me show you. It's called the Moon Haze. Mm -hmm. It looks like this, and when I looked at this palette, it reminded me of makeup that Selena Gomez did the other day. Really? And I might do an inspired makeup look by Selena Gomez. Oh, I'm gonna do a bronzy look, I think, with this palette because it's going like this. Nice. This is the Selena Gomez makeup. Oop. Oop. Let me just zoom in. Oh, not too shabby. Wait, I don't think I'm gonna put a picture up here so you can see. But look how nice. Oh, nice. I might do Nice it. lips as well. Yeah, like a nude couple lip. Mm. Let's do this. It's difficult to do eyeshadow with, with this Botox because you can't put your brows up. Yeah, you have to be like this. Yeah, you have to be like... Mm. It's quite difficult, really. But the Botox is 
doing well. Yeah, at least I wasn't squinting while I was on holiday. Same, at least I'm not making these funny faces no more. But then it's good to do some sort of facial expressions. Not like mine. Oh, not like mine. <laughs> I guess yours were a bit outrageous. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Well, ooh, that is very pretty. Oh, yeah. So yeah, those are the little updates. I think we've covered everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not sure what else was there to talk about. Yeah, and then I did, did, I, did, I went and got my um, Invisalign and yeah, that's it really. Yeah, the moving. Oh, how about we, how about we do Taco Tuesday and we do tacos and we do mango margaritas and we vlog. Oh yeah, let's do that next Tuesday. Yeah, this is gonna be the next vlog for next week. Doing the famous mango margaritas. Mm. Yeah. And you know, I also really love eating mango with this uh, tahini on top. So good. Oh yeah, I actually had that yesterday. Mm. It's quite nice. Wow, look at this color for inner corner. Oh, that's nice. That is nice, look. That's from the Nars palette. I'm gonna put it on the brow one as well. But you know what, I'm not gonna lie, I'm having a FOMO looking at everyone's being in Italy now in Mykonos. I wanna go too. Well, maybe me and Claudia are gonna go on a holiday somewhere. Like for just a week for to do content. Maybe girls' holiday. Maybe to and just we can do a nice holiday. little vlog. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be nice. Like maybe Mallorca or something. Before we go into another lockdown. Ah. Uh, I don't know, it might happen, we never know. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the pink color. Wish me luck. Is it pink or like orange? Peachy, orange, I don't know. It's nice. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a really nice color that is. Mm. I think I'm just gonna do my own version of this makeup look. <laughs> I don't know what happened to me, man. Oh, dear. I was going to do a little smoked out liner with the shadow. Wait, trust the process. Because I'm going to clean this area up, don't worry. <laughs> I love experimenting. Can you believe our birthday is coming up in like two months? We're going to be 29 years old. Yeah, I will cry on that day, for sure. But you will cry next year when you're gonna be 30. Mm. Cause you know why I will cry? Cause I feel like it just went too fast. Our 20s. But I blame COVID for this. Same. I blame COVID for this. Cause we didn't do two, four one. years of our lives. We didn't three, two, four. maybe two. <laughs> two years. Cause like we didn't do much during this time. We couldn't travel. Mm. It was just like a bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess so. Well, can't do anything about it now. It is what it is. Mm. It's done now. Well, I think 2022 will be fine. Can you believe it was almost Christmas? Like, well, not almost, but... I think we need to start buying Christmas decorations. Mm, yeah. I was already thinking of what's gonna be my Christmas tree this year, and I know what it is, but I'm not gonna say it because it's a surprise. Yeah, and I'm gonna also have a nice Christmas... Oh my gosh, I need to buy the Christmas tree. I don't even have one. Well, you still have time. Hmm. I decided to do a really crazy look which i'm not so sure about i don't know what it is i think it's the vaccine it's not giving me a <laughs> what i don't know it's making me very weak <laughs> by the way after my second vaccine i've been so weak and kind of i just feel so like this yeah. i can't even do my workout properly even when i was trying to do training before my holiday i could only do like 40 minutes and that's it yeah, the, other day, the other day, I did a workout and my legs were shaking. They were like jelly, they were like this. Really? And then I had to stop. Like, I just feel very exhausted. Yeah, I feel very exhausted for this one week that I've had it. Mm. And I don't like this. I like to have energy. Like, I used to have so much energy before. And now I don't. 
Yeah, it's not very good. Mm. But what can you do? Hopefully it's gonna go away soon because I don't like that. Uh, I don't like this feeling. Well, I'm going for a really big liner. A really big one. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> That is quite large. It's large and in charge, okay? I don't like my makeup. Because <laughs> I feel like I can't blend it properly. I think it doesn't have to be blended. What do you mean? It just has to be like that. Just, just like that. I feel like I can't see much what I'm doing. I'm gonna smoke out, smoke out my lower lash, so. You know, looks a bit put together. I'm gonna put some pencil. This is the Charlotte Tilbury classic pencil, like a dark brown, perfect for smoky eyes. Hopefully, you're not going anywhere after this. Well, I'm taking pictures, so yeah, we're planning to take some content today, but I don't know how I feel about this makeup. This is all right. <laughs> God, I hate tight lining my upper eye. I just can't do it. There's no way. It looks like a peacock or something. Not peacock. I look like a weird bird. I think I'm gonna finish this. I'm, I'm done. That's it. I'm just gonna do my mascara. Yeah, I'm gonna do a mascara as well. I just feel like this one... Are they even even? Can you like help me out? <laughs> what? <laughs> help you with what? I'm not sure. I think we both look a bit mash up. This is what happens when you don't film for two, or like a month or, or more. Mm. And actually we haven't been doing like that much makeup these days. Because obviously we've been busy and... Yeah. I really like this mascara, by the way. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Full Fat Lashes. Ooh. I'm gonna use the Benefit mascara because I really love it. Which one? The Magnet. Oh yeah, it's good. This one makes your lashes nice and separated, actually. Yeah. But this one as well makes them like that. Look. Hmm, it's great. This one I like because you do your lashes fast, because it's a big wand. Mm. Oh my gosh, I look crazy. Oh, why there is nothing on the, like, here? Where? Because there is nothing really there. It's just like light shadow. I mean, it's actually all right. I don't know about this. Anyway, let's finish the face, shall we? Yeah. The Hula bronzer. What is this Anastasia palette? This is a really nice bronzer and it's quite dark, so I like it. Just throw it a bit for contour and then I'm gonna use my favorite Fenty Beauty bronzer in Private Island. Private Island. If you, can, if you want, you can try this one, I really like it. Is it not too dark for me? Uh, maybe. But I like that bronzer. <laughs> I actually need a bit of that because it might need a bit darker. Maybe just a little bit here. A bit of blush. Oh, I'm gonna use this one from Ofra. So I took this palette with me to Mexico. It's basically some of my Ofra highlighters and blushes. So, oh, this is my tie. This is my favorite. And this one is really pretty. Not this one. I'm gonna use this Anastasia Trio, and this is my favorite. This one and the Dior uh, Coral is my favorite blush. This is Blush Trio in Peachy Love. Ooh, look how pigmented this is. I love this one from Ofra Mai Tai. This is my all-time favorite blush ever. Really? Mmm. So good. Oh yeah, that's what I needed. I needed some color in my life. Mm -hmm. 
So I knew I forgot something. I forgot my highlighter, but it's fine because I'm gonna use this one. This is the one I was using on holiday. It's like super kind of like golden. What is that? Yeah. One is called Yuju Yu. Yeah, this one is called Yuju Yu, and this one is called. Oh, it doesn't have a name. I'm gonna use the Becca Champagne Pop because it's the the nice one. Look at it. Mm, I love this highlighter. It's like a golden. This is like reminds me of a sunset. Like every time I would do a makeup for like sunset, I would put this. Oh yeah, because it's like really yellow, right? It's not too yellow, but it's like I don't know, champagne, golden. Really? Like, it's just so beautiful. Like, look at it. Oh yeah, this is you, do you. Blend, blend, blend. Because you know, I like to put a lot of stuff and forget to blend. <laughs> All right. Mm, oh, I'm gonna put some brow gel. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna contour my nose. Oh, well, let's like quickly like this with a little bronzer. Since, yeah, like that. And last but not least, our lips. favorite part. Wait, I don't know where is my brow gel. Oh, this one. I have this one from Anastasia. Where's my lips? I have a lot of different lip liners. Oh, really? Yeah. So maybe I shouldn't use 1993 from... No, you shouldn't. Look, I have a lot here. Choose from. Even MAC Will was really nice when I used it the other day. Really? Yeah. My lips are a bit dry. Mine are dry too. I think it's the air in your house. <laughs> what? <laughs> What is this? By the way, I still have my nails from my trip. They're orange. I need to paint mine that are better. They were matching. Basic. They were matching my uh, mango margaritas. What happened to that? I don't know. This is Huda Beauty lip contour. Mm. Oh, what's this? Mac morning coffee. Oh, I used to love that morning coffee. Do you remember? It's a bit too pink. I need something more brown. This is lip liner from M Cosmetics in the color Mink. Hmm, quite nice. And for the lipstick, I'm gonna use uh, actually I'm gonna use Penelope Pink because I want a bit of a lighter lips today. Oh, I was gonna use Penelope Pink because I want lighter lips. Stella. Hmm. Let's see. But I need to I need to blend it. Why is my lips so dry? Oh yeah. Mmm. Not too bad. Mmm, quite nice. I'm gonna put some gloss on. I'm not gonna put gloss because what I've learned with the Invisalign is that if you put gloss, it transfers it on it. Really? Yeah. If you don't have gloss, it won't go on it, but if you have gloss, it will. I'm using this M Cosmetics Clear Gloss. Look how pretty it looks. Oh! How does it taste like? Oh my gosh, so good! Mmm, like cake. Mmm. Well, I'm gonna put some setting spray. This is the Pore Professional from mm. Benefit, my favorite at the moment. Oh, I don't like. I don't mind this makeup anymore. <laughs> kind of came all together. Who? Who? I need setting spray too. Now it's Fenty. Get the hair out. Ooh. Nice. Right. This is it. This makeup is complete. I'm actually feeling this big liner. I'm even feeling my crazy eye. Yeah, matches the top. Matches the top slightly. Much. Um, I mean, I look a bit crazy. Yeah. Good well, summary. We're gonna go and take some pictures, I guess. Yeah. Um, we didn't take any makeup pictures in so long. Yeah. Right. We didn't. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this little update video. Yes, let us know in the comments what videos you'd like to see from us. Yes, because we don't really have that many ideas. and We definitely need ideas. We need ideas for a lot of videos. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go now and take some pictures. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video then. Thanks for watching. Bye.